Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel. I hope you are doing good. And uh, I am making a video after a very long time. I hope you liked all of the previous videos. So I will be coming with a new course very soon. And in this video, I am going to talk about proxies. Many of you have been asking for a very long time that suggests me some proxies, how we can use that and uh, what are the trustable or what are the reliable sources, right? So everything would be discussed in this video and I will be showing you the site as well as I will be showing you the way you can connect to the proxies. I will be using different browsers in this video. Okay, so uh, I will be choosing one of them. Like as you have seen many browsers in my videos like anti-detect browsers, right? Dolphin, Incognition. So I will be using one of them, right? So let's jump to the site. I will be opening the site first and I will show you some of the plans and how you can purchase them and uh, what would be the best one for you, right? So the website is proxy, right? 360. You will have to search this thing. I will be just I will be just giving the link in the description box, right? So here you will see this website, okay? So then I will click on login. You have to sign up. If you haven't created the account yet, you will have to sign up. This is my dashboard. Okay, here I get four options. First one is residential proxies. Second one is unlimited residential proxies, then static residential proxies and source by proxies. I mean, I think you are familiar with this thing, right? If you are going to use proxy, you must know what is Sox5, right? HTTP proxy, Sox5 proxies. They also have an app. Okay. So uh, in this video, I will be talking about proxies only. You can use their app by clicking on any of the options like this one. If you click on use now, you will see the option of downloading pop up, right? So this is how you can use. Okay, so I will be talking about residential proxies. What are these? Okay, in this in this option, you will get rotating and sticky sessions, right? It, it really depends on your purpose or what purpose you are going to use proxies, right? If you are doing something like if you're making some bulk accounts, so you will be uh, requiring these proxies, residential ones, right? Which will be uh, just rotating their IPs, right? What is the difference between residential proxies and static and uh, residential proxies? Okay, static you buy to for account formings, Okay, like mostly you buy for Facebook and for buying for buying for e-commerce account as well, which you run for months, for years, right? This is how you renew the proxies and all. So residential ones are just like you are working for a while, like for an hour or 5-10 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay, you will be requiring IP and after that, when you are going to do the work again, you, you will be requiring new IP. So for that option, you can go for this one. But if you're going for like a farming, account farming or doing a work for a very long time, you can go with this one. This proxy will be having for uh, minimum 5 minutes, 2 minutes, 3 minutes for, and maximum for 60 minutes. That what's the limit of limit time, like time limit of this proxy, right? And in this, you have a specific number of internet data that is bandwidth, like 1 GB, 2 GB, 3 GB. But in this option, you will be having unlimited data, right? This is why it is called as unlimited residential proxies, right? But then static one, this one, this one are like uh, they won't change their IP, right? They are, they are, they are not rotational, right? They are just like having the same IP throughout the time duration of that IP, whatever plan you have purchased, like for seven days or for thirty days, right? This is Sox proxies. This is at same options are already same. I have just shown you the difference between residential ones that are limited. Okay, if you are facing any difficulty, you can even check the tutorial, but I will show you everything live in the video. It's not that much difficult, but right? it's really easy. It's easy as, as easy as a piece of cake, right? I'll be using residential proxies. So, you know, here is the option of residential proxies. I will click on that. So, here's my dashboard, as you can see. Okay, so I will be showing you the option that you have to select. Or suppose I am going to create proxy for United States. I will just click on United States. I don't have any requirement for city. If you have, you can choose one of them. Okay, here number of options are there, right? You come down, then host or port. Here I will be selecting United States. Then session type. I told you in the very beginning that there are two sessions, sticky IP and rotating IP. So okay, so in my case, I will be choosing the sticky IP, right? And then duration. As I'm just going to show you, so I won't be needing proxy for very long time. I'll be just selecting for five minutes, right? Then username and password. You can customize it. This is what, what I liked very very much that you can uh, just modify things as per your need, right? So just click on uh, number of proxy you want to generate. I just found one. I will just click on generate, right? Just click on copy. 
then I will be choosing one of the browsers. This is Dolphin NT. Okay, so this is what I have installed. So I will be using this one. And you must have seen my in other videos. I have used Dolphin Incognition and then Go Login, right? So all the browsers are good and they have their own features. Okay, just download the browser as per your need. So let me just put proxy in this browser. I will be showing you how you can do that. Right? Just see, you have to click on plus. So you get 10, 10 profiles for free in Dolphin. That's what I like most about this one. Okay, I'll be just creating one profile. Just adding name first. Okay, then coming down here, you see the option of proxy. You will click on new proxy, control V, right? Then click on check, check connection, right? So this is a proxy of Illinois and America, right? But here you can see this is a pro this is a problem like this proxy is blacklisted, right? So what will we do? It happens. It, it is a very usual thing. Okay, it's not a very uh, rare thing. It's the usual thing. Some proxies are blacklisted, so you have to choose the widely proxies, right? The whitelist proxies. Just click on generate again. Copy. Come back. Control A, Control V. Then again, click on check connection. So see. This is for, for Washington, right? And it is not blacklisted. So this is how you can use proxies. This is really easy, pretty easy. Click on start. Okay. The, the the most useful thing about proxy is like it will not change internet of entire PC, entire laptop or entire device, right? It will be only applicable to the browser or to the to the thing you have applied proxy to, right? So I will just click on oer.net. Here we will check our, check our proxy, right? Just wait for a while. Uh, yeah, you can see Washington, United States, right? So this is how you will be using the proxies. If you have any of the questions, do let me know. Okay, so now let's talk about prices. Let's check some of the prices. If you click on home, and here you see the button asks for essential proxies. Click on recharge. Okay, here these are the plans. You can choose as per your need: 5 GB, 11 GB, 40 GB, right? This is for number of, this is for limited data. But if you need unlimited data, then you, you have to click on this option, right? Per day, it's 280, then 90, then 900, then 1500, right? This is how you have to go through the packages. And for static residential IPs, okay, you can select the number of IPs, how many you want. Okay, for 30 days or, or 7 days, then you click on order, right? Okay, these are the payment options from ERC20, Ethereum, Bitcoin. Okay, then PayPal or card. Choose the preferred method and then, then you can buy these IPs. So that was all about this video and I hope you liked the video. See you in the next video very soon. Thank you.